Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how I do my Kath Kidston style nails. Um, first of all I've started off by applying a base coat of this, which is Rimmel, um, and it's a la lasting finish 045 Misty Jade, and I've applied two coats to both hands now, and I let them cure for about 20 minutes so that they're thoroughly dry, and then I'll show you the next step. Hi, well this is the second part you need to do. Um, on both hands I've applied with a nail art pen large white polka dots and you could leave it like this if you wanted. Um, it's quite a funky design but this is a base layer on which the rest of the design is going to be painted. Um, sorry about the extra thumb in the first part of the video, it belonged to my daughter. It wasn't something strange poking up from the bottom. There it is again. <laughs> so you just got to let these bits thoroughly dry because when you put it on with a nail art pen, when I put it on with a nail art pen, it goes on quite thick and gloopy. I've tried to make it slightly different no. on each nail. I feel like there are a different variety of sizes. And they are slightly different variety of sizes. Some are bang on the middle and some are off on the sides. So that's the kind of thing you're aiming for anyway. All right, I'll be back with the next bit in a sec. It's my thumb again. Hi there, right, this is the third part. What I've done, on top of the big white splotches, I applied a smaller pink dot, and this time I used a Barry M one called, oh, there you go, and that pink flamingo. It's not a bad colour, it's quite a light mid-pink. And I applied that quite sort of hazily around the edge. And then, using a red nail art pen, I hope you can see this, where's the camera, there it is, I did some little red squiggles, and they don't have to be too particular, the idea is you're getting almost like a, well it should be a rose effect, so that was a, a lighter pink splodgy blob, and then a few little red lines on each one, in fact I used like one curved line on the outside and a, dot, a sort of funny dot in the middle of each. And that's how I achieved that bit. Okay. So this is the red. This is the red. Um, and it was just an, a nail art pen that I picked up in the B&M store. So that you could use an, a thin art brush in Quite any red nail red. varnish. Quite a dark red to contrast against the paler pink. Okay, so I'll be back with the, the last bits very soon. See you then. Hello, and this is the very last part of the tutorial. Um, I took a green, and in this case it was just a green from Claire's, and using a art brush, just that I've cut quite pointy and thin at the end, I just dipped it in and did two little tiny green dots by each of the rosebuds, so they look like leaves. And then I wiped the brush off, and I really like these. They're only a pound, and they're from Primark, and they're like little round remover cloths, already impregnated with remover. And I wrap one of those round the brush, and I wipe it off on there so that it's clean for the next part. And the very last part was to use the same brush it again. Nice. It does smell quite nice, little peachy. It's kind of like strawberries. It's more like strawberries, actually. And the last part was to use a white um, colour varnish again, but I did use the pointy nail brush for this. I thought just find it easier to do round the outside of each of the big white blobs. Just tiny little white dots. Gives it's it, optional. Yeah, it gives you a bit of a doily effect, and it's proper Kath Kidston, I think, then. So it's obviously more difficult on the left hand. But I don't think I did too badly today. Sometimes I stuff it up a bit on the left hand. But it's not too shabby. And if it is, we'll call it shabby chic. Anyway, that's my Kath Kidston nail tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. If I can do it, anyone can. Bye!